I've been promising to make a new USB air conditioner. Well, what I was planning on using is a Peltier cooler, which I'll uh, so show you. this is a Peltier cooler. They're also called thermoelectric coolers, or the concept it uses is thermoelectric. The guy that made it, his last name or something was Peltier. That's why it's called that. Um, you can pick these up on eBay for about 10 bucks. You can get them insulated, as you can see mine aren't, so they could short really easy if they got too cold. Um, you just give it any any kind of power under 15.2 volts and under 6 amps, and it should do fine. They work really well. It's really cool. Oh, and by the way, these are ceramic, so they kind of chip if you like hit them or something they'll and chip. basically you can see it right in there and they don't run too they they run on usb power just not too well and in addition with all the with these two fans it wouldn't run very well so i i'm probably going to go with an, a power supply i tried it with a different power supply that didn't have enough power and it it burnt it up so learned a little more about electricity and hopefully i'll find one that i need but basically all I did was I clipped these two fans together with heat sinks on them. Here, I'll just show you. Okay, so this one, the fan's attached. Just like that. And I just, I'm going to buy some thermal grease so that this will be connected better. But for now I'm just using tape. And the hot side is on this one because I want more cold air than hot. And this one keeps the hot side pretty cold anyways and then with this one I just took a really big heat sink and found this fan shroud with this fan connected to it and I just jammed it in there and then put duct tape around the edges so that it would have a nice like suck in the air there and pull it out through there yeah that's about it so I'm probably gonna make another video with the power supply on it and um Oh, yeah, and I'll also it. probably insulate it so that the the like this heat sink doesn't heat this one at all. So I'll probably cut out some foam or something, put it around while still leaving uh, holes so that it can suck in air through both both sides of these.